go back to the control samples folder, and then let's open up this folder called items controls. Now we're going to take a minute and look at each of these, and each of these are examples of a type of control called items control. Items control has a property on it called items, and the best way to think about that is it's a counterpart to the content property on content control. The difference between the content property on content control and the items property on items control is the fact that items are plural. On a content control, you can only have singular content, but an items control can have multiple children. So by far, the most commonly used example of an items control is the list box. So let's go ahead and open that up and take a look at an example of a list box. So let's maximize the window. We'll change the font size and turn off auto parsing, and then let's maximize our text area. All right, so you'll notice that inside of this list box, we have a number of items that are closely related to the list box, and those are list box items. In fact, we have three of those. The first two just contain strings, but the second one contains a checkbox. Now, it turns out that list box item is actually a content control. And so list box has a collection of these, and the collection of these becomes the value for the items property on the list box. Now, list box item is really handy, especially in a case like this where the content is actually just a string. It gives you a container that you can add the content to. But it turns out that in some cases, the list box item is actually kind of redundant. And the reason for that is if you just add items to the list box, a list box item will get created for you. Let me show you an example of that. We'll get rid of the list box items and just add a number of checkboxes. So let's delete these list box items. And then let's copy and paste this checkbox a couple of times. So now if I refresh, you can see that the list box is filled up with our checkboxes. Now under the hood, even though we didn't specify those in markup, list box is actually generating the list box items for us. And the way you can tell that is we continue to get selection, which is a property of the list box item. So as I click on one of those, you can see that it becomes selected. You'll also notice that the content, or in this case the checkbox, continues to be completely interactive. So that gives me the ability to actually check these checkboxes. Now one thing that isn't clear is what should happen when you click on the text. And in this case, because we've used the checkbox inside of here, it's actually just going to update the check property on the checkbox. And the reason I point this out is because I want you to know that there's actually a better way to add a checkbox to your list box item than just doing it like this. And the better way to do that is actually using templates, which we'll cover in a later chapter. Okay, so that's a pretty simple example of an items control. Let me show you a slightly more complex items control, which is tab control. So let's exit out of this.